and welcome to Robotic Sound, to Robotic Global TV and right now we are presenting 15 predictions 2024, the play version, the play means don't take things seriously, please let's not take things seriously, these are just you know that's by Boma Berepiki which is very important yeah so that's my name Boma Berepiki and I'm the founder of Glo Remobotics Global TV okay so let's move on to the next slide so 15 things that will likely happen in 2024 predictions not prophecies so please take note of that is they are not pre prophecies they are predictions some might happen some might not so please and please let's not be too hard on ourselves they're just predictions so some you like them they will happen some you even like them they will not happen some you don't like them they will happen whether you don't like them or not some might not also happen so let's just take things easy you know <clears throat> on these predictions so moving on let's move to number one okay so refineries cost of petrol and all that okay so refineries we will come up the potter cost refinery we come up the dangote refinery call i don't know if there's an, another refinery and all that other refineries also functioning their maximum you know optimum level i don't know but what i know is that our refineries in nigeria will come up and it will affect the cost of petrol now as the refineries begin to produce you know what the country needs definitely the price of pms will come down yes it will not be as expensive as, as it used to be but one thing i cannot assure you is that it will not be too low yes but all below what it works i'm very sure it will be below the current price definitely but it, it might not be immediate as the refineries come up, it, it might take some time. Gradually, the price of petrol will start coming down. Okay, moving on to number two. Now, what's going to happen between Wiki and Fubara? Now, there's a Supreme Court case coming up. Yes, they've signed the peace accord, the, the resolution by the, the president. That's President Tinibu. Yes, you know, he has settled them. They've signed the resolution and all that. Now, but there is a court case coming up a supreme court case that will affirm Fubara's victory and trust me that case will favor Fubara he's going to yes he's going to win that case now when he wins it a lot of persons are predicting that after he becomes you know victorious in that supreme court case he will go against the case no no what i see is that Fubara really wants to be at peace you know he, he really wants peace generally so even after the supreme court case i see him continue yes in that peaceful realm with wiki i see it in 20, i don't know after 2024 maybe when we get to 20 to 25 when i do a new prediction i might say something else but for now in this 2024 just expect peace in real estate yes and peace between fora and wiki it will be total peace even after the supreme court victory yeah so i won't say much on that yes i won't so let's move to the next so number three israel versus Hamas. this war trust me will spill over into 2025 this war will not end in 2024 I, i'm not a prophet of doom but this is what i see i don't see this war end it will continue till 2025 don't know why i can't tell why but just that it has to continue i don't know whether it's according to prophecy i don't know but one thing i'm sure of this war you're seeing will continue till 2025 okay number four number four is inflation now in nigeria mm, the cost of things is on the high side the inflation is crazy because of the rise in the cost of petrol now and other factors right but the moment the refineries starts start working i see the prices the price of petrol coming down now this will over time affect the cost of commodities that means inflation will reduce 
there will be an improvement. Yes, the prices of things will start coming down. Now, those of you that are scared that things will get worse, please and please remove that from your mind. Things will get better. Now, I don't know whether it will be at the beginning of the year, in the middle or at the end, somewhere, somewhere, by the time the refineries come up, the price of petrol come down, the cost of commodity will start coming down. Okay, so I won't say much of this. Let's move to number five. Russia versus Ukraine. Now, for Russia versus Ukraine, I see this war end in 2024. I, I don't know why. This war is a bit different from that of Israel and Hamas. But this particular war has lasted for some time now, right? Good. But it's going to end in 2024. Now, at the end of 2024, you can come back to this video and let's do some evaluations, right? But currently, I feel that this particular war will not spill over into 2025. It won't. It will end in 2024. Let's continue on number six, Grammy Awards. Now, the Grammy Awards is coming up. I see somebody unlikely, someone in Nigeria, you know, Bonner Boy has won this award, right? Whiskey and all that. Fine. I see an unlikely artist, an unlikely Nigerian artist, also winning this Grammy. <laughs> you guys will come back to this video. When it happens, you will come back. Yeah, so that's what I see. As I say, it's a prediction, it's not a prophecy. <laughs> so we move on <laughs> to number seven, AFCON. Now, some person will think, oh, Nigeria will win this one, that one. Okay. I won't tell you who will win. I won't. I won't tell you who will win the AFCON. I won't. But what I will tell you is two giants. There are two giants. Two big African countries that are good when it comes to football. They will meet in the finals. That's what I would just say. That's the only thing I would tell you about the Africa. There are two African countries that are very good when it comes to football. Two giants. I don't know whether Nigeria hits part of them. I don't know. If we get to that point and Nigeria is in the finals, fine. But what I'm, what I'm telling you right now is that two giants will meet in the finals in AFCON. Okay, let's move to number eight. Foam over TV. Now I see a year into it, I see a time in 2024 where a lot of persons will leave their TV for the phone. There are technologies now coming on, you know, the smart cast screen and all that cast TV where you can cast your TV on the wall, your, your screen you can cast your screen on the wall with your phone and it serves as a TV yeah so a lot is coming up in terms of technology I see a lot of technological advancement people are now will be migrating from that TV era to where they can do almost everything with the phone it's already happening but I see the cost more rampant yes where the TV will no longer be relevant yes that thing the TV does, you see the phone do. We keep the TV on the wall, right? And we watch things, right? Good. You will see your phone being displayed on the wall. You know, that will take over the entire world. And people will start moving from TV to phone. So number nine, Tinibu's government. What do I see? Okay. A lot of policies, you know, are being rolled out. Whether you like the government or not, but I see something, God using this government to bring Nigeria to a phase where we can look back and say, indeed, there's an improvement. That's the only thing I will say. Yes. Whether we like the government or not, it doesn't matter. We God use this government to change the course of things in this country. Yes. I told you I'm an optimist. I'm very optimistic. Yes. So God will use this Tinubu's government to put Nigeria on the right path. So
see that's what I see. Number 10. Okay, we move to number 10. Sorry. So P to B and Atik. Now, what do I see concerning P to B and Atik? I see an alliance. I don't know, but before the year 2024 ends, I see an alliance. And I see Atiku's team teaming up with P to B's team. And the question is, who will be fronted in the 2027 election? I see the Atiku's team standing behind the P to B's team. That's what I see. Sorry, I'm saying this. Some person might not like it. Whether you're in PDP, I don't, you know, I don't really. I'm not a partisan person. I'm just giving you predictions. You know, I see the PDP backing the Labour Party for the next elections. That's what I see. Let's move on because I don't want to stay on this topic. It's a very sensitive topic. So please go to the comment section and do all the arguments and discussions there. I, please and please. I'm just giving you predictions. But I will say it again. I see the article team standing behind the P to B state, that's the PDP backing the Labour Party for the next election. And so that's what will happen. Yeah, and by the by time 24 24 we end, you see this happen. So we'll come back and evaluate and see the you know developments and all that concerning this particular event. Okay, number 11. In and the can what happens, you know, because a lot of discussions concerning he is released and all that. So my, what is my prediction concerning his release? By the end of 2024, will he be released? Or he will still be in the prison? Okay. Now, is this a sensitive topic? Yes, it is. But I will also say something about it. I, I have to say something. Yeah. So, my prediction, when it comes to part or not, as I said, don't take things too seriously. I'm just predicting. It's not a prophecy. And I'm not a prophet of I'm not a prophet of doom. And I'm not a prophet. <laughs> okay, I'm only pre predicting. And what I see is I see Inam the canon being released. I don't know why. I don't know why why it has to happen like that. I don't know. But I see the government, you know, releasing Enam the canon. That's what I see. That's what I see. Okay, whether it's for good or for evil, I don't know. But I see in the canon being released. So we move to number 12. Crypto cashless world. What's gonna happen? You know, um robotic sound. When it comes to cryptocurrency, especially in Nigeria and the cashless society and all that, I see a lot of improvement in that area. I see a lot of persons jumping into this crypto, that's virtual money and all that. I see people using cash. You know, less. Let me put it that way. Let's say cashless society. People do more of transfers. That's what I see. So crypto will be on the rise in Nigeria, and there will be less movement of cash. Okay, there are already signs, but I see it is a major. You know, people migrating into this crypto of a thing in a, in a major scale. That's what I see. By the end of 2024, okay, number 13, false teachings by some popular pastors. So it's self-explanatory. I won't stay on this. We move to number 14. Strange event. A strange event that will shake the entire world, like COVID. You no, know, you saw what happened in 2020, 20, COVID-19 and all that. Okay, the pandemic that shook the entire world. So something strange that the world has not seen before we happen in 2024. So take note of that. By the end of 2024, please let's come back and evaluate and look at what some of the things that came to pass and the things that did not come to pass. Finally, number 15, a mighty move of God. Many will embrace Jesus Christ. Okay, so as evil will increase, a lot of bad stuff will happen. The devil will do a lot of crazy things, many people will die and all that darkness will increase. Now, but as darkness increases, light will also come. A lot will come to Jesus Christ. A lot. And God will do mighty things in the lives of his people. So that's what will happen. So finally, that's the end. And thank you so much. See you next time.